Hello everyone, welcome here. In today's video, I am going to do analysis of some penny stocks. Now these are stocks which are trading at very low price and we will see whether you should buy them. Are they worth buying? Because just because they are trading low, should you buy them? And can they generate positive returns? That we will you know, analyze in today's video. I will share my review. I will share my opinion about these stocks and you can you know, see and learn about these companies and take an informed decision after watching the video. So let's see which are these companies and let's see whether you should invest in them or not. So the first stock that I'm going to analyze. Now this is a very interesting stock because you now this company name is Jayaprakash Power Ventures Limited and it's trading just at around 5 rupees. I had made a video on it where it was trading around 4.8. Now of course it has given some good returns in short term but uh, should you buy now? That's the question. Now if you see market capital that's around 2981 crore the 52-week high price is around 6.85 low is 2.19 rupees and the book value is 9.49 which is more than the current price and the face value is around rupees 10 and the intrinsic value is around 5.24 now very interesting factor is that this stock was up around 20 percent today so today was a good day for the stock and it was uh, the stock is up around 100 percent in the last one year around 60 percent returns in year till date and this company uh, if you talk about it it was earlier known as j prakash hydropower and it is a part of the jp group which was incorporated in 1994 it is a small cap, a penny company trading at very low price. Also has a low market capital of just 2000 crore, 2900 crore and it is operating in the power sector. Now it is an Indian power company that is part of India's leading infrastructure conglomerate GP group. The company plans, develops, implements and operates power projects in India and it currently operates the largest hydroelectric power plant in the private sector in the country. The company owns and operates the 300 megawatt Baspa 2 hydroelectric project at district Kinor in Himachal Pradesh, 400 megawatt Vishnu Prayag hydroelectric project at district Chamoli, Uttarakhand, and 1000 megawatt Karcham Wang 2 at district Kinor, Himachal Pradesh. And all the plants are run of the river hydroelectric power projects. And the company through its subsidiary JP Arunachal Power Limited is implementing two projects in Arunachal Pradesh, the 2700 megawatt Lower Siang and 500 megawatt Hirong. And JP VL has also extended into implementation agreement with government of Meghalaya to set up 270 megawatt Umgot and 450 megawatt Kinshi stage 2 hydropower projects. Now it also has acquired Bina Power Supply Company Limited from the Aditya Birla group and is setting up one to the 1250 megawatt coal fire thermal power plant at Bina in the state of Madhya Pradesh. The firm currently operates the largest hydroelectric power plant in the private sector and JP Group is a diversified infrastructure conglomerate in India with interest in civil engineering and construction, cement, power, real estate and expressways, hospitality, fertilizer, healthcare, sports and education. Now, as the Indian economy is continuing, it continues to surge ahead. Its power sector has been expanding concurrently to support the growth rate, and the demand for power is growing exponentially. And the scope for the growth of the sector is immense. JP Group folded into power sector after reforms had begun in the country, and private sector was invited to participate in the beginning of the eighth five-year plan. And JPVL has subscribed 74% of the equity capital of JP Power Grid Limited, which has developed a 214km long power transmission project to evacuate power from the Karcham Vangtu project. The power transmitted is meant for distribution and consumption in the states of Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, and Rajasthan. So, can this stock, you know, does this has the potential to turn around in future? Of course, currently, of course, the stock is not in a very good you know phase it is that's why it's a penny stock it's trading at just five rupees so it can uh, be a turnaround bet and uh, important points to note is that promoter holding is very low it's only 26 percent and another factor to note is the promoters have pledged around 87 percent of their holding so that's also a point to note so this is a very important point to note before investing in this company and if you look at the chart of the stock you know made a high around in few months back at around 6 rupees and then you know there was continuous fall so there can be you know falls like this in the stock uh, today it was up around 20 percent today was a good move so should you buy the main question is should you buy this stock well in my opinion if you are already holding it of course you can hold it with a stop loss 
uh, for few years i think the stock can go higher but if you want to do fresh buying i believe you should wait for correction and just buy near 4 rupees i mean that would be the price even if you want to enter into just small quantity uh, one two percent of your portfolio holding and you can allocate just small allocation of uh, one two percent and four rupees would be the price to enter and i think that that is the much you should you know invest in this stock it's it can turn around but i think i don't think it's a that great of a company so you can invest it can go higher but it's a risky bet so if you if you can take some risk then this is a stock you can uh, do your analysis on so okay this is the first company now let's see another company second stock now this is also interesting stock a small cap company if you look at the returns this stock has given around 7 30 percent of returns it is up to 20 percent in the last two years it has a dividend yield of 0.34 percent if you look at the shareholding pattern promoters have 58 percent of shareholding mutual funds have a very good stake of 18 percent and fii's have two percent of shareholding in this company so this company was established in 1947 it is a small sized pharma company engaged in manufacture marketing and distribution of pharmaceutical products and services in the domestic and international market through its eight marketing divisions, which are Indoco, Spade, Varen, uh, Extend, Excel, Eterna, Indoco, CND, and Spera, the company serves a range of doctor specialties. It has signed supply agreements with companies like Watson, Aspen, and DSM to supply formulations to advanced and emerging markets. And if you talk about the latest quarter, which is 36 2021, the company reported a consolidated total income of 387.61 crore, which was up 26.21% from last quarter total income of 307.12 crore and up 40% from last year's same quarter total income of 276.12 crore. The company has reported net profit after tax of around 39 crore in the latest quarter. And as a company, this firm remains focused on APIs and formulation business and will be looking to expand the same both in the domestic as well as international markets. After going through a rough patch in FI 18-19 where the company faced headwinds on the domestic and export front, the situation is returning to normalcy and on the domestic front, the management has maintained double digit domestic growth guidance for FI 22 and is looking for field force productivity improvement from 2.4 lakh to 4 lakh per annum. Good traction is also expected on the export front with regulatory overhangs waning. The name of this company is Indoco Remedies Limited. So Indoco Remedies is the second stock and this company uh, today has a well-built brand portfolio of 135 products in various therapeutic segments including high growth lifestyle segments such as anti-diabetics, cardiovascular, central nervous system, musculoskeletal nutrition and dental care. It has built a visible presence across all its markets in Europe, USA, Asia, Africa, Latin America and other CIS countries. A number of its products have emerged as brand leaders in the Indian and in international market. The firm has made significant investment to build capabilities in APA manufacturing and R&D services to enhance its visibility. And as of today, the company operates in over 35 countries globally for formulations and APAs. With approval of its finished dosage facilities by the US FDA, Government State of Germany, TG Australia, MCC South Africa and UK MHRA, Indoco has emerged as the most suitable partner and provider of contract research and manufacturing services to its customers globally. The company is striving to place itself on a strong promising path by expanding its business strategically, strengthening its manufacturing facilities and enhancing capabilities across the organization. The company is looking at various opportunities in untapped market and association with business partners in the global markets to boost its revenue. It has healthy long-term growth as operating profit has grown by an annual rate of more than 200% with a growth in net profit of 58%. The company declared outstanding result. Also, the stock has high institutional holdings. That's also a good sign. Now, if you see the chart, the stock, uh, I think the best price to enter in this company would be 425. Uh, this is a good stock. I think it can perform well in the coming days. It has the potential to perform in the long term. So this stock, of course, I think one can look into and any correction in the stock would be an opportunity. I think this is the price where you can you know, see to enter in this stock. I think if you want to enter 425 would be very good price. And I think this stock can perform in the coming days, uh, in the coming future. If you see one to use, I think this stock can perform. Even JP Power, I think it's a good stock, but uh, it has some risk element. So if you can take risk, then JP Power is 
you know you can invest on small amount in it and you can see whether it performs or not so this was the video i hope you like my analysis see you again soon with another stock analysis video till then goodbye take care happy trading happy